What's up, you guys? I got Michelle and Justin here with Team Plus Realty today, and we're doing Market Watch Wednesday on housing inventory and what that's going to look like for the next year and how it's going to affect us as realtors and home homeowners as well. So Yeah, thanks for filling in, Michelle. Appreciate having yeah, you here in place of sure. Gary. Uh, so first of all, I want you guys to just kind of know the general feel for what has caused this housing inventory crisis that you're going to hear more and more about as the in the coming months in 2020. Yeah. First thing is, is home builders have not been building at the pace that they've needed to be building at. Now they've been doing good, we're not putting any blame on them, but at the end of the day, they need to be doing about 30% more than what they're doing here in Utah. Right. Next, people are staying in their homes even longer. 10 years ago, the average person stayed in their home for seven years. Now that averages up to 11 wow. years. Wow. So, Everyone's kind of staying on longer, builders aren't building up, and what that has caused is a housing shortage that is going to be a very interesting dynamic to our real estate market in 2020. So, sure. Michelle, why don't you show them what we got, weather, weather girl style. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> okay, so we got this uh, light blue line right here that is going to be this year, and this darker blue line, which is going to be last year. So as you can see, as the year has progressed, right here in about September, October area, we are having quite a bit less inventory than we did this time last year. And it's pretty significant. So that is going to have some, you know, pretty serious ramifications on us. Yeah, so. you guys need to understand, this is a 37% decrease in housing inventory wow. in the last three months, 37%. That's insane. That is enormous. Yeah. It's unprecedented really. Yeah. And so what is that going to mean for buyers and sellers out there? Yeah. This is going to be the question of 2020 because if you look at some of the experts who's predicting cities that are more expensive than ours, mm -hmm. they're actually claiming that this is going to be such a big problem that home prices are going to be going down in wow. some of those areas. Wow. I, however, am predicting that this is going to help our home prices go up. If you are a first time home buyer and in a price range of under 300,000, I got bad news because this is bad for you. It is going to really cause a problem. Mm -hmm. You're gonna be facing multiple offers. Prices will be going up. And so if you want to buy in 2020, you've got to do it sooner rather than later. Now, as we get into those higher price ranges, mm -hmm. that will be very different than the lower price ranges because our inventory level is different up there. Right. And so please, please, please pay attention, ask us questions, understand what's happening in the market because this year more than ever, it could mean the difference of thousands upon thousands upon thousands of dollars for you guys yeah. in savings. So. Thanks, Michelle, for filling in. Yeah, definitely. And we will see you guys next week, just as the screen turns off. For sure. Thanks, you guys. <laughs> see ya.